Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and I'm continuing my Costco series today, and we're focusing on calcium. So I get a lot of questions from patients who have been told by myself or by other physicians that they need to take calcium. Well, which calcium type is the best? Which one should they take? Are they all the same? They're similar, but they're definitely not all the same. There are some nuances between them, so let's talk about that. There are mainly three forms of calcium, calcium citrate, calcium carbonate, and calcium phosphate. So calcium citrate is something like Citracal, and this I think is probably my favorite, although I like the generic form at Costco better. Um, this medication you can take with or without food. Calcium citrate doesn't have as much elemental calcium in it. Each one of these tablets has about 21% of elemental calcium, which is the calcium that your body actually sees. So with calcium citrate, you have to take more pills in order to get the recommended dosing. So let's, for example, on calcium citrate, you need to take two tablets daily with this kind, but with the Citracal brand name, they want you to take two caplets twice a day. You don't get as much calcium with this one, but I like the dosing better because you really shouldn't be taking more than 500 milligrams of calcium with each serving. And with this, two tablets, you get 650 milligrams. So I, I like this one a lot, especially if you plan to take it without food. And if you're taking acid suppression medication like Pepsid, Zantac, Protonix, Prilosec, this medication, the calcium citrate has been shown to be absorbed better. Okay, next up is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is the most common form it's like Tums. It's the cheapest. You get the most elemental calcium per tablet. You get about 40% elemental calcium, which means you don't have to take as much. The problem is, is that you really, you, you really need to take it with food for it to be absorbed well. And if you're taking an acid suppression medication, this isn't gonna be absorbed. This medication can also cause gas and bloating and some constipation. So not ideal if you have any of those issues. Okay, and last is calcium phosphate. Calcium phosphate's, a, I think, a little bit newer on the scene, and the reason is because calcium phosphate is usually in the gummy form. It has about 39% elemental calcium, so along with um, calcium carbonate, so you get a lot of bang for your buck, and the gummies are good. It shouldn't cause the same uh, bloating and constipation that calcium carbonate can. So the dosing is take two gummy vitamins per day. Um, I'd probably split those out and take one tablet twice a day with food just to help with absorption. Okay, so at the end of the day, the summary is calcium phosphate is a good option if you need a gummy. Calcium carbonate is a great choice if you want something that's inexpensive and you don't wanna take as many pills. And calcium citrate is a great option if you want to take it without food and if you really struggle with gas and bloating or constipation. But at the end of the day, calcium can potentially have side effects like kidney stones. It can interfere with uh, thyroid medication and it can interfere with some cardiac or heart medications. So I would talk with your doctor and make sure that you even need to take it. I would also do an analysis of your diet. You know, there are certain goals that each person should meet with their calcium intake. So here's a good chart to help you figure out if just simply through your diet, you're getting enough calcium. And for me, that's always the way that I'm gonna stress for my patients to get their calcium through natural forms, dietary forms. Pills just don't, they don't do the, they just don't work the same way as getting it naturally through your diet. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for joining me.